main event right now, though, we got some special coverage for you as we're going to move right along here. Freddie Cuevas, the other guy I think you might like, getting it on with Santiago Samaniego. Both there in the ring right now as uh, they make their way in, and this uh, also could be a very competitive fight. And right now, let's take it to the ring announcer, Thomas Triber, for the introduction of the fighters. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues with six rounds in the junior middleweight division. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge will be Tim Adams. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the corner, he's wearing white trunks with red and green trim and weighed in at 156 pounds. Hailing from the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, he has a professional of 17 wins, two losses, with 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Freddie Wimbos. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing red trunks with white trim, and also weighed in at 156 pounds. Coming to us from Miami, Florida, he has a professional record of 28 wins, five losses, one draw, with 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Santiago Samaniego. Once again, your referee in charge, Tim Adams, now to give the instructions. Six round schedule. All right, listen up. I want you guys to keep your punches up at all times, all right? I want you to obey the commands that's gonna be given to you at all times. In the case of a knockdown, the man who is standing, I'm gonna put him in a neutral corner where I'm going to be, and I expect for him to stay there until I tell him to come out. Good luck to both of you. Protect yourselves at all times, and let's go to work. So we're going six rounds. Samaniego will uh, be wearing the red trunks and uh, Cuevas in the uh, white with the green and red fringe. Should be a competitive fight here. Cuevas 17-2. Uh, he's got a little pop, 15 knockouts. And uh, Samaniego, same thing. 24 knockouts and his 28 victories. Samaniego, very talented fighter out of Panama City. Cousin of uh, Roberto Duran. We've seen him before. A lot of talent. I don't know if he has the talent to win a world championship though. I think he's like just at that one below it where, where he can beat most of the guys out there, but probably not a world champion. He had a, an opportunity to fight the Vernon Forrest a couple of fights back. And uh, Forrest really coming on very well now. Forrest who uh, recently defeated Vince Phillips and is assuming a real role in the uh, welterweight division. And Samaniego was stopped in seven rounds by Forrest. Samaniego comes in here pretty cold, actually. He does not uh, appear to be warmed up very much. And, uh, of course, you always have to forewarn about a flash knockout in a situation like that. And also, to be very honest, uh, Samaniego seems to be a little soft around the middle. Uh, Samaniego's last fight right here about four months ago in Elgin, Illinois. Knocked that Angel Bell tree in one round. Curtis giving a lot of movement for that last fight. Slapping left hand by Samaniego. This is the first opponent for Cuevas that has uh, any type of a recognizable name. And he's fought all of his fights here in Illinois. It's almost Illinois. Yep. <laughs> Gets around that lane pretty well. Nice and fluid, mobile. Samaniego, pretty skilled himself. Won the Waterway Championship in Panama and uh, an NABO Championship. He challenged for the ABF title when he fought the Grand Forest and that losing it. We saw him about a year ago fight Kofi John Claw in uh, Miami. And was beaten by John Paul, who's a, out of one of the fast rising people fans. Pretty good uppercut. I think that ought to get Cuevas' attention. It certainly got the attention of his legs. They stink. Smarty 
Diego having a very nice first round here. And seems to have the way this thrown off balance. And one shot probably wobbled Cuevas. And I'm not sure his legs are completely back yet. Right. There's another pretty good thing on this video. And uh, you can see Cuevas kind of leave the scene sideways. Cuevas glad to hear the 10 second warning sound. Very good first round for San Diego. We welcome you back, round number two. Santiago Simaniego, a very lyric name. And Freddie Cuevas, a good first round by Simaniego. Cuevas here is a lot like Fils Pendo in the fact that he's kind of a local hero. He's fought a lot here in Chicago. He too was a high school uh, uh, star in sports, but in baseball and basketball, where Pendo was a football star. I he ended up being a two-time Golden Gloves champion here locally. Cuevas, though, keeping all his options open. Uh, he's not a full-time boxer. He also works in management for one of the famed long-distance companies. Cuevas, very active. He has been spotted ever. He's been doing all the damage. Cuevas had his best fight, middle of 1999. He took out an undefeated St. Louis prospect by the name of Sam the Thrill Hill. He's the last you broke the thrill, I think so. <laughs> and uh, he took him out on an undefeated fight and knocked him out. In fact, in the seventh round, he had a fight to fight through the ropes. And then knocked him out in the next round. I'm sure his thought is get this guy to uh, the later rounds of those on the schedule at six. He did not want to let go. He still is off shake his head. He's still in front. All right, give me a break. That's the punch that we're talking about. That's what he did there. And he defeated Prospect. So they've each felt the sting of love. Don't punch. Don't punch. Diego is a guy who normally likes to wear down his own his opponents too. So you know, trying to get him into the later rounds might not necessarily be the right strategy. Cuevas, best chance might be to blow him out of here. If he, he has the chance. Come here, Blake. Wait. Diego was born in Panama City, Panama, now lives in Las Vegas. First cousin of the legendary Roberto Guerrero. I think everybody can agree with him. Everybody can agree. that Fox Sports News comes your way every night. In fact, it comes your way twice a night at 10 o'clock at midnight. Get all the day scores, highlights, and breaking stories right here on Fox Sports Net. Round three of a scheduled six rounder. Freddy Cuevas in the white front, Santiago San Diego. Too much water in that corner. And they're picking up now, which is a little late. Cuevas' uh, knee real late, really buckled on the knee. I, I tell you, I'm still kind of shocked at what we saw in that fight before this. With Hector Camacho check out awestruck by that punch that he landed on that knockout that he scored. I mean, we've never seen Harold Warren go, go down and out like that. Never been knocked out before. So far tonight, we've had three outstanding fights. Cuevas really looks like he has good power. Sometimes his fancy blows are taking effect on somebody. Cuevas in the legs of Cuevas. He 
Uh, a knockout winner over the more experienced Harold Ward. In fact, as we said earlier, the entrance took longer to fight. It certainly did. That was right after he came out of the witch's brew. Oh, baby. And it proved that the curse on Harold Warren was definitely in effect. You saw that scorching right hand and the victorious Pacho Camacho Jr. And there's Junior and Senior. Hector was Hector Sr. was really happy, I'm telling you. Even he seemed kind of stunned because he didn't have much to say in there. And that's the first time I've seen Hector in that situation. That's yes. true. <laughs> Lima Cuevas took a pretty good shot from Sanaiego in the last round. It was dropped. Come on. Like made his okay, let's go. <laughs> Four. Okay, let's was hurt badly in round one. Way this closing, buffing up and closing, literally running away. Can work on you mentally, but it works on you physically too. And Cuevas doesn't look like he's all the way recovered. is overhand right and he hit him with it Samaniego didn't go anywhere what Samaniego does have though is some handsome ripped trunks and they are ripped to where he would at least like to ultimately rip that's true oh, don't, don't, don't. Four, and 
dictating this fight. And the ground floor, Alex Amaniego is the guy that's really in charge here. Look at that. Telling it like it is on Nightline of sports talk shows. That's weeknights at 6.30 and 11.30. The last word with Jim Rohn. Nightly on Fox Sports Net. mustache and get a natural look? It's easy with Just For Men Gel. You look so natural, no one can tell. With Just For Men Gel, no one can tell. With Just For Men Gel. It's not regular air coloring, it's specially made to penetrate that coarse, hard to color gray. Simply brush in and in five minutes, rinse. Now gray is gone, matched up to the rest of your hair. You look so natural, no one can tell. With Just For Men Gel. So, you thought nothing was bigger than the big New Yorker pizza. Well, how about a chance to make your own CD? Free at CD Now. That's right. Order the big New Yorker from Pizza Hut for only $9.99, and we'll give you your own personal access code. Go online to CDNow.com and choose six songs from a selection of over 75 artists and 200 hits. Personalize your own CD, then we'll mail it to you. Free. We make the pizza, you'll make the CD. Hey, I told you this was big. The big New Yorker. Another one of the best pizzas under one roof. Well, there's a very happy winner of our main event. It's 19 degrees outside, but this guy's not feeling it. <laughs> Meanwhile, final round here between Santiago Samaniego and Kenny Cuevas. And uh, Cuevas uh, with some big problems. That eye shut. And he'll be unable to see that left hook of Samaniego. Referee Tim Adams followed the Cuevas back to his corner at the end of the last round. Took a long look at that eyelid. He's still looking at it. All right, give me a break. Tim Adams 
we were saying earlier, is a guy who, who's not going to let things go any further than they need go. He's got the fighter's best interest at heart. on that eye immediately, as you see. I'm sure he can't see any more out of that right eye, Barry. It was pretty well slammed shut from the top down. So a tough night for him, but uh, good night, I thought, for Simone Diego. Uh, first round, I thought Cuevas did a pretty good job, and from that point on, it was all uh, Santiago Simone Diego. So Simone Diego will uh, likely put this one in the W column and get his uh, career kick-started back in the right direction. We'll find out officially when we come back. Casino here in Elgin, Illinois. I think this one is pretty academic, but uh, we await the uh, final outcome here of this fight uh, between Samaniago and Cuevas, and we'll take it to Thomas Triber and try to make it official. Thomas? Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. Judge Steve Corbo scores about 59 to 53. Judge Mario Di Fiori scores the bout 58 to 53. And Judge John Duggan scores the bout 58 to 54. All in favor of your winner, Santiago Samaniego. Well, we talked about why Samaniego might be fighting six 